Orn! Come down from your forge! There's news of your brother! <laughs> a day away from my forge is a day wasted. There's chaos within the frail yard. Wallabear joins forces with the Winter's Claw. I fear they do not understand you, Lord Orn, and wish to attack. The other gods don't understand me. Good. Should you not look to your followers to build an army of your own? Gods do not need followers. Followers need gods. Surely, Lord. An army would serve you better in this time of turmoil. Better than facing it alone, eh? I enjoy being alone. Fewer unintended casualties. Lord, please, listen to reason. Enough! If all goes well, our paths will never cross again. It never goes well. Valuing his privacy and solitude above all else, Orn does not meddle in the affairs of mortals. Unlike other deities who delight in such interloping, Deep beneath a dormant volcano that bears the scars of an ancient eruption, he labors day and night, forging all that his heart desires. Each and every single piece, a priceless masterpiece, destined to be sung about in legends. Some have even claimed that Brahm's shield was made by Orn thousands of years ago, and that it remains as sturdy as the day it was forged. Orn's name was once spoken throughout the lands that would come to be known as the Freljord. Through time, his legends were excised from history by his enemies. Now only a few of his grand exploits are known, by a handful of tribes. These tribes trace their lineage back to a forgotten culture of blacksmiths, architects, and brewmasters. They were known as the Hearthborn. Apprentices journeyed from all corners of the world to gather on the slopes of Hearthhome, here to follow in Orn's example. Despite this imitative form of worship, Orn never considered himself their patron. He would only give them curt nods or frowns when they offered up their work. Despite this, the Hearthblood accepted this and were determined to hone their craft. It was because of this they came to create the finest tools, design the sturdiest structures, and brew the tastiest ales the world ever beheld. Secretly, Orn approved of their perseverance. But in one catastrophic night, all they had accomplished was destroyed. When Orn battled atop the mountain's peak with his brother Volibear, the result of the cataclysm was a storm of fire, ash, and lightning so intensely violent that it was seen for ten horizons away. When the dust settled, Hearthhome was a smoldering caldera, and the hearth blood were reduced to scattered bones and cinders. Though he would not admit it, Orn was devastated. Through them, he had witnessed the purest potential of mortal life only to see it all lost beneath the wrath of the immortals that stood above them. Racked with guilt, Orn retreated to the isolation of his foundry, and buried himself in his work for an age. Sensing the world on the cusp of a new era, Orn once again lights the fire of his forges, his siblings once again taking physical form, their cults of followers growing restless and aggressive. The Freljord itself is fractured and leaderless, and ancient horrors are lurking in the shadows, waiting for an opportunity to strike. 
a great change is coming, and Orn knows the Freljord and the rest of Runeterra will need a good blacksmith. <laughs>